All right, well, let's work down the bag. I mean, David, yeah. you know, um, we've gone through the drivers, fairy woods, hybrids. Obviously, we got the irons next. And the irons is kind of a different deal yeah. because not only we can talk about the siren, but we're talking about how, in comparison to the Rogue and yeah. things like that, the Rogue they had this year. So if you want to go through that real quick, let's, let's talk about yeah, that. Yeah, it's interesting. This is a whole new, we talked about paradigm and this paradigm shift, right. a new paradigm shift in construction. So this doesn't replace Rogue. In fact, Rogue continues. This is a much more elevated premium product. This is a, a forged product, a very, very high-end product. We have two models. We'll talk through it, but it all starts with the face. Okay. So really powerful face. Basically, we took the face of the hybrid and we're putting that on an iron, a Forge 455 face cup So and designed by AI. So really powerful. Still going to have the, the spin rates we want. Within that, in order to hold that face to keep the thing from, from breaking, we have a speed frame in there, which is a version right. of hollow body construction that is inside of the club. We kind of like a jailbreak for this right. iron. It really provides that stiffness that allows the face to kind of do the work. The other thing with this is the feel of these are phenomenal. So we have the urethane microspheres in there. You got a forged face, very, very premium. So you got all that power. It's still got to feel great. Um, the shaping is completely different from Rogue. The I'm holding the Paradigm model. So there's two models, the Paradigm and the standard model. This is a player's distance iron. Gotcha. So what I mean by player's distance, it's for a player who's Pretty good player generally. Generally a single digit handicap, but they want to have a, they want to get a little bit more distance. Not for a tour player, you know. We're talking five handicaps here, up to about ten or twelve handicap, okay. right? Then you have the X model, and this is a little bit bigger, and it's got more offset. It's going to be a true distance iron. Gotcha. You know, there's a lot of players that come in and say, I, I want to hit my iron, my seven iron, one fifty. I can't hit it one fifty. Hit right. it one thirty five. Try the Paradigm X. Right. The thing is a cannon, but it's still great looking shape to it. Has kind of a little bit of that Apex DCB uh, shape to it. So so two models, I think, um, you know, phenomenal amount of, of, of performance here. Lot, I'm hearing a lot of technology in these. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't say, uh, in fact, what I'm hearing from you right now is probably using more technology and iron than this. I mean, this is pretty crazy. Most advanced uh, iron that we've ever created. Uh, and that's totally, some. <laughs> Yeah, totally unique driver face that is, un or iron face that is unique in the industry, designed by AI. No one else has anything like it, but it's packed into this kind of beautiful looking shape. Right. I mean, look at this iron. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. gorgeous. It's beautiful. We've got tungsten on the outside. We've got tungsten on the inside. We talked about the right. urethane microspheres, Forge 455 face. So everything that we could pack into this beautiful shape. I would say on the top line, is it's it's slim, you know, yeah, um, yeah, no, I'm, and, and then a little bit thicker uh, here as well. Not a ton of offset on these things, so no. they're, they're kind of player's iron. In fact, even the X model, which is the forgiving model, yeah. had, had a DCB type look and yeah. uh, offset yeah. versus that right there. I could see guys actually putting these together, putting maybe they, some they, of the longer They can the combo yeah. in the lower lofts. You know, you might put a four or five maybe in right. the X model, and then these in the wedges, eight, nine, and right. up are just phenomenal. Just absolutely. absolutely beautiful, beautiful iron. So it's a little bit different for us because we haven't had a a Forge 455 iron in the past, and like I said, it doesn't replace Rogue. It's really elevated into that. No, I don't. Want to, I don't want you to have to repeat yourself, but yeah. this is going to be the questions I'm going to get in this. Yeah. One more time, if you would describe the Forged 455 on this, because that's a big deal in this. It doesn't yeah. look like it to yeah. me. I mean, when I pulled this thing out here, I was like, "This is a cast iron." Yeah. And then, and then all of a sudden, you told me, it's, you know, when I hit it, the first thing I felt was like, "How soft?" That's incredibly it's soft. A for, it's a yeah. forged iron. Yeah. So the face itself is forged. 455 is a high strength metal. Okay. So typically, in irons, you see 17.4. 455 is what we use in the hybrids. It gives you more strength, more flexibility, gotcha. it gives you more power. The reason why a lot of people don't use it in irons is it's kind of too powerful in irons. It can cause fatigue or cracking gotcha. in the actual iron. So we had to come up with this whole new paradigm shift in construction that allows that iron to still be durable. And then we worked on the sound and the feel. Love because it. you get a distance iron that is that powerful. You're putting a hybrid face into an iron, you still want this thing to feel pure. You were able to hit them earlier. You yeah. were commenting on Loved how it. well they went through the turf. Loved it. Yeah, I mean, when I show this to the better players, even when I was hitting it today mm -hmm. out in this range, which I just absolutely love the club, you know, when I hit some of the better clubs, the better players' clubs, they always feel sticky. Yeah. This one didn't at all. This one, like, just went right Goes through it. Right right through it was turf. amazing how yeah. it cut through it. And that's because that little leading edge on yeah. it, the way the ball, the sole did it, it felt great. It's, I think the two things we've heard the most in the testing so far is the turf interaction yeah. and then kind of the sound and feel. But then people look at the numbers on there and they're like, right. whoa, this no, thing's got some power. I actually, the, I put the numbers on the chain, I got, immediately got 10 yards. I was in a seven yard, I got 10 yards in the seven yard just immediately. So, and I, and the interesting part of that, it felt soft. Yeah. And I get 10 yards 
was like, okay, I'll, I'll very forgive me, claw yeah. back and launch those. Sure. But this thing felt soft, was spinning, got some lift. That's crazy. And that's what we're trying to do with this paradigm shift is make a player's good looking iron, but yeah. still has all that power with great feel. You know, it's kind of like the best of, uh, of both worlds. That's yeah. what we're trying to well, get Well, uh, you got to be really excited to have these come out. This, this is going to be a, this is gonna be another home run for you We've guys. We've been working on this for a long time. So like we said, we still have Rogue, Rogue right. Max, right. Rogue ST Max, the great for us. That's your kind of true game improvement right. type of iron. Shaping is different. It's a cast product, uh, very, very powerful. This is kind of that next level up, this really uh, elevated iron. So can't wait for your, your students to try it out and, uh, and get these in their hands. Well, perfect. Well, thanks for your time on those. It's wonderful. Thanks. Thanks, Tim.